Let's go! Today we are breaking down the brand new NFL kickoff rules. We want incentives to have our coaches and players make choices that are exciting to the fans. So the NFL is adopting the XFL kickoff rules, but there are a few differentiations. We're going to tell you who that man was here in just a minute. So the kickoff will start at the 35-yard line, and the circles are members of the kickoff team. So they're actually in the opponent's territory's 40-yard line. Then the blockers of the kickoff return unit can only be between the 30 and 35-yard line, and none of the players can move until the football is touched um, or hits the ground inside the landing zone which is also the red zone, right, from the 20-yard line on in. So if the ball hits a landing zone and rolls into the end zone, it is a touchback to the 20-yard line. As you can see, any kick that hits the landing zone must be returned. Okay, so once again, they are trying to prevent Touchback. So if you let the ball just roll into the end zone, well, you're not going to get as great field position at the 20-yard line opposed to the 25-yard line where normal touchbacks used to be. Also, there is incentives for the kickoff team to actually kick the football into the landing zone because if you don't, the possession begins at the 40-yard line. So the ball must be in play at some point, okay? If the ball enters the end zone in the air, the receiving team can return it or down it and take the possession at the 35-yard line. So you want to kick the football inside that landing zone so you can prevent them from having good field position at the 35-yard line. Um so there you go. Those are basically the rules. But here's the thing. No onside kicks until the fourth quarter. And you have to let the officials know onside kicks are coming. Alrighty, so let's break down a few XFL kickoffs and first start with the big difference between the two. In the NFL, it'll be the kickoff team at the 40-yard line and the return team at the 35-yard line. There also is very little incentive for someone to be looking backwards because it doesn't matter. You're only going uh, to be reacting to when the player actually touches the football. So the first thing here is the kickoff unit really doesn't know which direction the ball is actually heading. And you can actually say the same for uh, the return unit. And as you can see, the ball is inside the landing zone. So if it would have hit right here, the return team would immediately have the football at the 40-yard line. Okay, so he returns it. This actually is a good kickoff. You want to get it about right here so he doesn't have as much run-up. Um, and that's the thing. It lowers the amount of high-speed collisions because you got to think you used to have a running start full speed down towards the returner. Now you don't have it, and also vice versa. The returner doesn't have as much pickup speed if you're able to get the football close to the landing zone. So this return obviously really didn't go for a whole lot, but let's take a look at a few successful ones. All right, so now let's take a look at the most exciting kickoff return in this format. It becomes less about athleticism, if you ask me, and more about creativity, right? Such as reading holes or designing plays that could work. So you'll see right here, Bang. So ball hits a landing zone and these players are off. But what the blue team here, St. Louis, decides to do is run an end around here. And you can do this. It is a backwards lateral and it still works even though there was a missed block right up the middle here. Um, and you'll see the end around actually work. And you could set up plays. You could see everybody is sealed off to the inside. And all you need to do is make one decent block right here. And it could be off to the races. And you do get a really good block uh, right here. And this is actually just a really, really good return. He had some work uh, to do here. And you'll see, I think they actually marked him. Well, I'll let you decide if this is actually uh, a touchdown. This lead blocker, instead of actually blocking someone started celebrating uh <laughs> I, I gotta love it and he's just looking back looking back looking back 
And I do think that they actually ended up marking him short right about here. Yeah, you can see his foot graze out of bounds. But give him the tutty just for the sake of the argument. Ha, 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 ha. And then something else you could do is you can actually run like trap blocking scheme. So I think a lot of you are, are familiar with the running play design counter where you're pulling an offensive guard around to um, – block an unblocked player and that's exactly what happens here the outside uh blocker here you would think his job would be to block here and you know you immediately think it's just man to man across the board but they actually do a trap scheme so this returner looks as if he's actually running this way this guy's actually blocking out here this guy's actually blocking out here and this guy's actually you know, sealing off this guy to the inside, and your job is to run in between these players, okay? And, God, that is really good stuff. That is well executed, okay? Um, and you'll see this hole is gaping, and now you just got to have a returner who can run through it and read a blocking lane, and that's what 27 does, and he ends up housing it. And, look, Dallas was down by a lot, now they're only down by two possessions in this game. So you can get creative even without pitching, um, you know, whoopsie doodle. What, what does uh, Scott Van Pelt say? Whoop de woo or whatever. Huh? 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 So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting way where it's harder to do these kind of things with the traditional kickoff. We understand the purpose, right? We want to incentivize returns and we want to try to reduce concussions. You cite a really important college football study. While kickoffs only account for 6% of all plays, they account for 21% of concussions. That's a big number. You know, we really want to drop the number of concussions. We have more plays, so we know there's going to be more action, more opportunity. But right now we've seen zero concussions from kickoffs. So that is Sam Schwartzstein, the guy that came up with all of this, along with Eric Galco and many others who have tested this. Um, I believe they tested this at the JUCO level to see if this is actually something viable. And I think a lot of NFL traditionalists would say, well, this is going to take away the Devin Hesters of the game. This is going to cost uh, kickoff teams, a kickoff return teams, uh, their jobs, right? Because special teams, of course, uh, is a big part of the NFL. Well, let me first start with this being safer. I used to play football and kickoff, kickoff return was probably the scariest thing uh, I can remember doing, right? You never really know. And probably, you know, the thing I miss is all the flashbulbs, uh, going off right it, this feels so ancient just looking at this but uh you know that 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 clip is a little bit older so there might have been uh, a few concussions after the fact uh but i do feel this makes it safer because there's not as many high speed collisions and this kickoff return is so filthy to stop in your tracks and then juke this guy out of his shoes, and then hit that top gear, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Um, so I do feel this will make the game safer um, because running at that speed and the collisions it caused, I couldn't even imagine NFL athletes doing it. So uh, I, I am in favor of that. Where I am very much in favor is the actual kickoff return data okay you're taking a look from mike clay at espn.com the data overwhelmingly shows that kickoff returns are up in the xfl compared to that in the nfl because kickers have gotten so good at booting the football out of the back of the end zone so this in a way is to help make the game more exciting you have to also keep in mind um the NFL probably wants more scoring. They want more excitement. They want more offense. And kickoff returns is one of the most exciting things that we have in the game. And it, quite frankly, has been phased out because the kickers are so freaking good now. So this, I think, will increase the excitement of returns. In fact, it is not extincting Devin Hester. 
it's actually reviving him because kickoff returns have been so phased out. Look, with defenses uh, being stronger than ever with all the two high coverages, we want more explosive plays back into the game. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I kind of want to do a video on the hip drop tackle rule, uh, but I, I, I am still trying to gather my thoughts on that one. <laughs> so uh, let me know what you guys think. It is power out. NFL, boom. And tonight, we are doing pulled pork, baby. Let's go.